cantiere del Pardo ha iniziato la sua attività con il Cantiere del Pardo started its activity with the Gran Salle 34. It has been 50 years. It was a great little boat. Dimensions just over 10 meters, but very big intentions. Having a GS 34 50 years ago meant sailing everywhere. We have come, however, to the 72 footer a point of arrival, an important boat full of ambition, but most of all, content. The project manager of the boat is Franco Carazza, an old acquaintance, a man who has trod the docks and decks for a long time, a man with endless experience. The hull is by Matteo Poli, the interiors by Nauta Design, the Milan studio run by Mario Pedo and Massimo Gino, and the structures are by Marco Lostuzzi. Franco, you are at the centre of a project that involved many people. With whom and how did you work? I think I collaborate with the best team that is on the market right now. There's Matteo, who for the water lines has proven to be the most in the moment designer. We have Nauta Design, who did the interior and styling of the deck house and deck. Marco Lostuzzi, who did the structures. Then we have Adria Sale, who is perhaps the best known boat builder in Europe at the moment. Franco, 72 feet is a somewhat magical measurement, isn't it? 72 foot boat, very high performance, ready for any kind of sailing, even ocean sailing. I would say it turned out well. What are the strengths of this boat? It is an easy boat to sail. I insist that boats, first of all, have to be easy to steer, safe, and you have to feel the helm well. Otherwise, it has all the options and details that a blue water can have, an engine room, while being a very good-sized performance boat and top-notch equipment. The interiors are by Nauta Design, the Milan-based studio, which has a large experience. Actually, we can say it was born with this kind of boats. It's an important size, and the interiors are livable. The width helps a lot. It's a quite large boat, especially here in the dinette. This is the three-cabin version with the owners at the bow, a two-single amidship and another double aft. In this case, the crew quarter is located aft behind the kitchen. There is another version in which the crew cabin becomes a guest cabin, so the crew is located at the bow. And here we are in the kitchen, a space in which both the owner and crew spend a lot of time. The distance between the two countertops is correct. On this side, the sinks. Here instead, the stove machine. There are three refrigerator areas for a large capacity range. As for the finishes, there are no great limits to the imagination of the owners. Fabrics and woods can be chosen by mutual agreement with the shipyard, but other details can also be somewhat modified. I really like the idea of the long cruise version, a high deck, the possibility of having implants underneath, but especially that of seeing 270 degrees all around. When you experience the boat a lot and live inside a little bit, which can happen in the winter and spring months when the temperature is not very warm yet, it's a great feeling. Let's say that from a sailing point of view, the biggest difference in the long cruise is that the cockpit is more protected and the cockpit floor is 15 centimetres higher. For the rest, the boat has the same rig, sail plan and keel options. So in fact, what changes is the deck house, the cut water and the cockpit floor. In the interior, on the other hand, the difference is greater in that that the floor level of the hull rises 30 centimetres. Part of the engine room goes under the hull. Matteo Poli is designing big boats, 
What did he put in this 72? Matteo has put in his DNA that he tries to develop in all his designs. It's basically a boat with very little wetted surface area, a very important dynamic length. The V-shaped hull makes the boat easy to carry, extremely light on the rudder, and performs well in medium or light winds. A boat that is easy to use. This mission obviously comes through the sail plan. Self-tacking jib, furling boom mainsail, code zero at the bow and bowsprit to hoist a large asymmetrical jib. And here I am finally at the helm, trying to sail this beautiful boat, and we start with the most challenging sail. The Code Zero. The Code Zero, in my opinion, is a sail that has become a must for all cruisers, in that boats accelerate much more and everyone creates much more apparent winds than they used to. I would say it's also easier to handle on the carriers. Yes, this one also has the eye bolt that spins and acts as a furler. It's an extreme convenience. You just push the button and you have it all in your hand. Let's see how self-tacking works. I'm going, guys, slowly. Piano, piano, andiamo. Well, it's really nice to have the self-tacking. Franco is really a thoroughbred. We have already exceeded 12 knots. The boat is designed almost like a racing boat from a waterline point of view, and it's easy to steer. It's very responsive and very precise on the rudder. Yes, I can feel it. It tracks well and accelerates right away. It almost feels like a smaller boat. It has the same behaviour as a smaller boat. Even yesterday, we were out, everyone had the same feeling. Let's talk numbers. Upwind, 9.2 knots. 9.2 knots in this air. 9.2, 9.4 knots. Let's see then upwind how much we can tighten. Do I haul the jib? Or the mainsail? So guys, real wind speed 12.5, 9.2 the speed at an angle of 50 degrees. The problem when you end a day on such a beautiful boat is getting home and getting off the boat. We really had a good time. We tried all the conditions, which doesn't happen often. The only thing missing was the Jenica, but the wind got up to 15, 16 knots. The boat sailed to its full power. It went up to 12, 13 and even 14 knots. Si è lanciata verso i 12, 13, anche 14 nodi quando il vento è sui 10, 11 è facile navigare alla velocità del When the wind is on 10 to 11 knots, it's easy to sail at the wind speed. It's what is called maxi effect. When the boat, in addition to the wind boost, can build apparent wind and then amplify the wind speed and its gait becomes more important. La velocità del vento e la sua andatura diventa più importante. In short, this Grand Soleil 72 is promoted with flying colours.